Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. It's very early in the morning, it's like actually 10 past 7 a.m. and I'm getting ready for work. I'm in a hurry but I really want to start my day with trying this, bear with me, hydrating jelly primer. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, I haven't talked this morning but uh, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Hydro Primer which is my favorite primer ever. This is infused with aloe, um, aloe vera and cucumber, this lightweight, bouncy, water-based jelly primer moisturizes and preps your complexion for a fresh start. And this is supposed to um, extend the wear on makeup, blur the appearance of pores, non-sticky, lightweight feel, skin feels refreshed and blends seamlessly. So I'm very curious, this has been out there for a while but I haven't had a chance to try it. And here it says 8 hours. We are going to wear it more than 8 hours today, guys. It's going to, going to be a long, long day, but I really want to try it because the Milk Cosmetics one actually holds my makeup in place for 16, 17 hours. And that's what I need. I do get a little bit shiny and oily, but it's nothing that looks too much, you know. I, I look more healthy than I look oily. So I'm kind of curious. This is when it comes to price. You can actually get a couple of these for the price of the Milk Cosmetics one. But I do like Milk Cosmetics and hopefully this will work for me. I moisturize my skin. I also use a little bit of black under eye primer just under my eyes. And let's go in with this one. So I'm going to come back tonight and talk about this. How ooh, This is definitely not the same kind of texture. Uh, this is more jelly than that one. But it feels very refreshing on the skin, just like the mix one. But this is full. I just used a little bit of the primer on the cap, and this is going to last me a long, long time because you get lower products. One point of uh, forty grams. One point point forty one ounces. This feels very nice on the skin. It is sticky, not as sticky as the Milk Cosmetics one, but it's still sticky. And I'm going to use the Rebecca Stella, the Flawless Foundation, I really like, and I'm almost out. I need to repurchase this one. And let's use this one on the skin. It feels very light, the primer. And the foundation goes on very, very nice on the skin. And the foundation looks like my skin. I do look dewy and uh, not shiny, but you know, dewy, healthy looking more than usual. Usually, is other primers with this foundation. And now we build it up to medium coverage. This is a medium coverage foundation. It says it could be full coverage, but I will say medium, because you can still see my, yeah, spots. So far, so good. I do look more healthy or shiny than I actually like, but I'm going to go in with the Rebecca Stella Pro Concealer, also a very good concealer. So I'm going to finish my makeup and uh, powder and I'll, uh, we'll see how it looks. So, so far it looks good. It really really looks nice on my skin and it the foundation is like one with my skin with this primer too. So I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be back. So guys this is the final look. I really like this primer. Everything looks just like my skin. It looks very nice. Let me just show you. It's very early so 727 and I'm going to go with my day. I'm in a hurry a little bit but this is my makeup. Looks flawless, looks very nice, could be the best one so far. Okay guys, hi, welcome back. Let's see, it's now 4 p.m. So I've been having this foundation on since 7 this morning. And I've been having it for 9 hours. So this is how it looks. I haven't touched up, I haven't done anything. I just came home and it's raining outside. It's very windy and I just picked up my kids from school and let's see how this primer worked. The foundation 
wore off here on the chin. But I'm touching my chin a lot. But everything else looks really good. I do look shiny, but I feel like I do look healthy shiny. I don't feel oily. I don't think I look oily. My pores are less visible. The foundation stayed on on my nose. It looks really good. I'm very happy. I think this is definitely a dupe for for the Milk Cosmetics one. I do think it really, really works good, but the Milk Cosmetics one worked with all of the foundations that I've tried out and worn. So I'm kind of curious to see if this one is going to do the same thing. It looks very good now with my Rebecca Stella's foundation, but I'm almost out of it. I think I have like one or two uses left. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's going to work on other foundations, but so far so good. I'm really liking it. I'm definitely going to continue using it and tell you after a couple of months what I think about it, but so far so good. I'm very happy that I have it. Finally tried it. I mean, it feels like I'm the last person on this earth to try this primer, but I really enjoy it, really like it, and I'm very happy about the results. So, this is the final look <laughs> after nine hours in wind and terrible weather too. So guys, please let me know down below if you tried this one. Do you have another dupe to Milk Cosmetics one? Uh, hi, Hydro Grip Primer, please let me know down below. I would love to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video.